Chris Sargent, a comfortable win for the New Saints this evening? Yeah, I think it was comfortable. I think, you know, the fellas at Scorio just said, used the word professional. I think that's probably what it was. Um, it wasn't the best performance with the ball. I think you could have, obviously, we've had one chalked off as well for, for offside. We've, the ball's been bouncing around off a few set plays um, that, we, that we could have turned in. So, on another day, it could be five, six, seven. But um, all that matters tonight is getting out of here with the win and, and being in the hat still. And when you got the players in the dressing room at half time, what did you say to them? Um, just tidying up on a, on, a, on, a, on a few more things. To be honest, Rev, I think there's been a common theme last couple of weeks of, of um, decision making with the ball a little bit. Uh, maybe playing sideways and backwards a little bit too much for my liking at the moment. So we'll address that over the next um, next couple of days before Ballard because it's something that we, we probably did towards the end at Aberystwyth as well. We don't want to be going through the motions for the last 20 minutes of games because the one. You know, we want to you know, put our foot on the throat a little bit more and, and be relentless right till the final whistle. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's something that we're going to look at the next few days. And there were a number of changes to the starting eleven with players coming back from injury, new signings as well. How difficult was it to go with that eleven that took to the pitch? Um, yeah, there's a lot well, there's a lot to think about, to be honest. I think, first and foremost, you know, we respect a couple lot. We've, we've had some great runs in it and we've been invited to it, so we want to do well. Uh, representing the club, representing Wales. So first and foremost, we want to put a team out that's that's very strong. Um, and then you add a few little bits and pieces of if it is going right, then we can get good minutes into into players. And and then towards the end of the game, you you, you can get half an eye on on Wednesday then. Um, but again, the players you're bringing on, you bring a Brad on and and Luke, you bring Ryan Brobble on the pitch. You know, <laughs> Jared's come on. Um, and then obviously we needed to use Leo just towards the end because because JD. JD's got a knock, so it does give you an opportunity to rest, to rest the likes of Leo, who've, who've played so much. Blaine come off because you know he's he's had an, um, he's he's done a lot intensity wise in the last few weeks. So um, yeah, it does give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of flexibility when you when you start right. But um, first and foremost, we had to be in the hat. And you mentioned the five substitutes there. It does show the depth of squad that we currently are at the New Saints. Yeah, we're in a good we're in a really good position now. Um, I think. You know, we weren't we weren't in that position that you know three four weeks ago coming off the back end of Europe, but I think we're in a really good position now, and it's you know it's 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 clear to see how, how many good players we've got. I think the game schedule at the moment is probably going to help us get keeping everyone happy, getting minutes, and then um, and then Craig will have to pick a team. It was good to see Luke and Brad make their debuts, and of course Brad got that third goal, which in effect put the game beyond the reach of Hibernian this evening. Yeah, it was a really important time. I think it was. I think he took the kick off, and then I think that was his next next touch. But we know what Brad's about. Um, I think when you watch it back, I think the movement's frightening. Um, and then it's a, it's a great ball in. It's a it's a great first time finish. That's what he's all about. So, um, got to be a little bit patient with him game time wise, and because he hasn't done a lot over the over the summer, he's had you know not regular football for the last three three four months since since leaving Villa. So, um, we'll have to be careful with him and and look after him and you know. That's, that's why, because he's got that quality and got no doubt he'll score goals. And we are on the road again in our next game. Fortunately, it's not such a, a great distance. It's Ballatown at Mice Tegid on Wednesday. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, you know, they're playing in this, in this cup as well, aren't they, this weekend? So it'll be interesting to see how they get on. But we know what, what, what we're going to get from Ballard. It's going to be a physical game. It's, um, they're going to be organised. So, um, yeah, we've managed to, to rotate a little bit tonight and, and freshen it. A few players up and get them off the pitch so they'll be in a good position whatever team he put out.